So anyway, as I said, these uh, lunatics who continually show their love for the socialist and the slave party um, by continually trying to provoke us. I mean, these... I don't. I never would think that there you had people who are so determined and fight. So, but they're not literally fighting. I mean, in their spirit. Let's see what these assholes are talking about. Can we hear them? I've literally never seen so many people so intent. I guess because it's easier, you know, to... But easy is never fulfilling. It it doesn't last if it's just that easy. But they don't... I guess they don't understand why people like us are so hard on them. It's not meanness... It, it really it is for they don't understand it's for their own good they they really don't the corruption is not going to save you you it, it, see they they really not understanding basically it's over i mean you you're done dude it, it's a done deal you're busted you're corrupt. There's nothing. There's no conversation you're gonna have that's gonna save you, bro. You, you're done. You 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 showing that you decided to 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 go out. I guess like a gangster. You want you want to die. That that is literally what you decided. You see how he jumps in the car and he's doing his hand movements. He's decided that he'd rather die than be free. He doesn't want us to be free. Instead of taking himself out. And dying with him and his broad, you know, driving off a cliff, he wants to take everybody else out. You see, I mean, you see how hard they're they're fighting. They're they're fighting to stay with it. I don't get what they're doing. I don't get what these people are fighting for. I don't. I don't. I don't understand it. They're not black people. They're not descendants of slaves i don't know what these things are i don't know where they come from i don't know if they were made in a lab i don't know if they were taken like and you know brainwashed we don't know where they come from they could have seriously been locked up somewhere for years and terrorized and they can't help themselves and that's the sad fact that they're going to have to be taken out you know it's 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 not really that sad because they were, you know, once regular human beings, regular people, you know, they was babies once, you know, they were in diapers and they were cute little babies. And now they're going to have to be taken out. You know, they're old folks and, you know, he got his little Sunday outfit on and, you know, it doesn't make you feel like it really doesn't make you feel like, oh, this is so sad. It makes you angrier. You see what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, when somebody tries to fool you and lie to you, it makes you angrier like these people. It doesn't make you feel like, oh, maybe this. It makes you like that these people are seriously fucking crazy. Lunatics. I mean, these people are fucking crazy. I mean, I think they really would run up on a, a, a fortified position, if you know what I'm talking about. I think they would if they were told they would literally run up on a position on a on a machine gun nest uh fifty catches they would run up on it if told to if they they their leader see how fast he's driving if their leader said run up on that position not let's find a way to you know, see they they're crazy it just just speed up burr, running up on the curve instead of like a sane leader who would say. Let's find a way to take out that nest. We'll go around, maybe flank them. They would just follow orders and just 
y'all all just run up directly in the line of fire the line of fire of this machine gun goes from that that bush right there to that beige car that's his range of fire y'all come straight down the middle and they would do it they would be mowed down they these that's how yeah like it's just they're just doing the, you know street theater no they know what they're doing they know street theater gas lighting is designed to drop it's a crime you're designed and they they, they people they're, they're busted out they know it's over they still with full force they, and they're still angry they're still angry i mean it's literally like they would run and they would do it they would just run up getting shot down and their leaders would play victim oh gosh that 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 you know that country is so evil we were just you were just what what were you just doing well, we were just trying to take you over. We were just in you. OK, you responded in kind like you're supposed to, like history and the rules of war. Tell us the Geneva Convention. You did what you were legally able to do. But we're going to play victim on top of that. You just mowed all those people down that we sent to run at your machine gun nest. And... <laughs> And like what? And y'all are gonna sit there and play? Oh yes, your your see your country is just so. See there, that's why we're doing what we're doing. It, 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 we, we, you know, that's why we we had this they do it so sneakily. That's why we you know we have members. You know, that's why we have the the, the you know this guy that, that guy. I don't know who the fuck that guy was in the Sion. Sion. Do they even make signs anymore? That's not a joke. But you saw who do do the, the gay shit. He he waved his, that that the uh, the other agent. I don't even think they fucking a girl boyfriend and girlfriend. I think they're both agents. Normally, you know, I would, but yeah, he's he's a little like Fred Sanford used to say. <laughs> <laughs> He's like this, but uh, the the big dude, uh, the big gay dude with the red do rag on that uh, just left. It, like I said, it, it's like you can't do what you're doing and pl continue. What what is with y'all today? Y'all got a, a y'all got rambunctious today. Y'all something. What happened? The new year, the new decade. Y'all got y'all y'all got some gas or something? Is it hell a bit gassed up? Oh, here the asshole back. He coming back, you know. So it's like, what y'all? Oh, he went to the garbage can. Y'all uh, y'all have y'all have been gassed up for the new year. This is this the first Sunday? Yeah, this first Sunday. Of the, is this supposed to be a special thing for y'all for gang stalking? Is, is this? I, I don't get it. Y'all got courage juice. Y'all got so drunk. Wednesday, New Year's. Y'all still feeling that, that you know, y'all must have drunk some strong liquor. Y'all drunk some strong liquor last Wednesday and y'all still feeling that courage. You know how motherfuckers get drunk and get courage. Get that puffed up chest. Got that air in his chest. And just ready to take on the world until they get their heart bust or get their chest busted open and shit. You know, they, they what what happened? What, what's going on? You you feeling yourself, bro? I mean, you, you, you really shaped like a, a feminine fat dude. That's what you look like, bro. Yeah, I don't think you want none at all. You really don't want this. Because <laughs> it's, it's real. I'm not going to kill you, but you're going to remember this day for the rest of your life. Every time you have to empty your colostomy bag or something, every fucking day from now on, give me the word. I promise you, that's not a threat. That is a fucking promise. Yeah, do your little gay shit. Sit in the car. If I was you, I'd get the fuck on. But, like I said, I don't, I don't get what these motherfuckers have gotten into. What's gotten into them? I don't somebody put some courage juice, somebody snuck some courage juice into the Kool-Aid or they they you know uh they cereal, they they fruity pebbles they ate this morning or count chocolate or whatever. 
you know, maybe they on too much sugar. You don't let, hey, chill with all that sugar, bro. <laughs> maybe they had, they, you know, how little kids get, uh, they eat them sugary cereals and they get all hyperactive. You know, something to happen today, you know. I went and tried, went on about my business. And they, uh, took it upon themselves to do their gang stalking shit. But, you know, I, I, it's, it's just really, when they, when, when you're doing the sneaky shit and you, and you, you get busted and you don't just take it, like, you know, shit, you got me, you caught me, you know, it gets worse, it really gets worse, you, I don't know what, and y'all just want to explain what, what type of mentality you niggas is on, you know, what are you fighting for, why are you so determined to... I, I don't know, be victims. You know, why are you so determined that somebody is, is not not proving because y'all mad at the rest of us who just proved that all all these years we proved all you gotta do is just do it. That there's no, you know, uh the man is holding you back, you know, racist is it because like I said, if you smart and you do encounter racism, you already know what to do. The hell, that's like a jackpot. And I'm talking about years ago. And it's not that you're looking for it, trying to take advantage. The point is, if you do encounter, that's why, like everybody says, you you don't encounter it. That's the whole point. You know, because you've been waiting. A lot of us, you've been waiting. Like you couldn't wait, not because you wanted the money, but because you know what to do. And we never encountered it because you know for a fact, he's like, damn, this ain't gonna fly. I can't, you know, basically he pissed me off. But it ain't racism, you know, because if I write this up and say, you already know it. As soon as you look at the, if you did even write it down, hell no, nah, this shit ain't gonna fly. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. And so y'all doing all this shit to try to pretend that there's some racism to prove. Basically, you prove that t- that y'all shitty at your jobs, you're lazy, you're cowards, and it's not due because you're black. It's due because you because you, you got white folks who are with y'all. All of y'all, you got all types of races who races, not racist races, different races who are part of your group. And you see, they're doing the hand signals like when you know when I get hype, I get animated. And uh, I start talking with my hands. And you see both of them. Look at, look at if you can see it. They're in the car. It's probably the sunlight you can't see. But they're doing the hand signals. Both of them. Now, who in the fuck, boyfriend and girlfriend, sits in the car doing hand signals, talking like this, talking to each other? Nobody. T- I never sat and talked like that. That's too hype. That's like you're, you only talk like that when you're angry and you're ready to fight each other. That's when you do hand signals. Nobody's happy and do hand signals and talk like that. That is some fake shit. That's why she getting out the car. Because I pointed out that they, they in there doing this and that. Nobody does that. No real couple does that. You only talk like this when you're ready to fight. You know, that's when you start using your hands or you're explaining something. And if you're explaining it, that means your relationship is fake. Because you're sitting up there talking to your loved one, your significant other, like this and that. That's bullshit. Nobody talk they're like you're talking to your homeboy. Like I said, maybe they're gay. Maybe he's gay. Maybe they're best friends. They might not be a couple. You talk. You might talk to your homeboy like that. Like, yo, yo, this is that. Then we gonna do this, nigga. We go da 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 da. But you two, a male and female. I've never seen that. I've never done it. I never talked to a female who talks like that to a man. If you talking like that to a man, that's why they, you know, motherfuckers be. The motherfuckers that's mad at black women be talking about y'all so got that male energy. Male, y'all too masculine. You got that masculine energy. You talking like this. You know, you talking like you're a rapper from the eighties. You know, this and that. No, but y'all y'all too y'all no. This this shit is I wish this thing was recording. I mean, well really you can't see because of the sun. 
<laughs> you know. He said, just cut it out, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I ain't talking to her. I'm not, see, that's another thing. This young generation, they call each other bro. The girls call each other bro. He would call her bro. You know, I seen videos. They were, Come on, bro. No, I'm talking to you, nigga. <laughs> this is when a nigga like me telling you, bro, nigga, you need to chill the fuck out. If this is not no cute shit. Next thing you know, like I said, yeah, your family gonna be on Channel 6 News or whatever Talking about how you was a good dude And <laughs> you was the best dude And you had plans And you had graduated from college And da 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 You don't understand why he had to end like this And why he had to leave the earth like this And it's gonna be a bunch of women It's always gonna be women You know, there ain't gonna be no males there <laughs> They crying and, Lord, not my baby Lord and, and, Help, help. I mean, I'm trying to understand why I don't get what man would join this program. I don't get it. I really don't. I have uh, racked my brain. And it's just because, like I said, it's been saying for centuries. You know, you got motherfuckers wrote, wrote shit, Shakespeare. Nobody understand women. Men still don't understand women. But these dudes are acting like women. So maybe how how are they acting like women if we don't understand them? Because they don't understand either. They just following what <laughs> he's just gay. It is just like that. So that part we take. We all we all hey, any man, it doesn't matter. No you you get it. There is nothing we can't understand them. But you got dudes now all of a sudden some somehow for in the last 10 20 years men and women can actually be friends bullshit no it's not you got a bunch of gay dudes who decided to who think they're gonna take over and also tried they tried to and uh what do you call it they tried to fool other dudes into thinking they're gay too that's what this mick gal shit is uh, MGTOW or whatever It's not that big of a movement But what I see What I see is what they're trying to do With all of this shit The Me Too uh, With trying to like PC Trying to what they call it as Teaching young boys to respect women When it's bullshit When the majority of times These cases where these little boys 16, 15 uh, Was fucked up and uh, you got these fake ass niggas talking about if this was my daughter, I would have did. No, bitch. It was no. If you was a, a, a motherfucker, we could tell that you ain't really getting no pussy to after you way until you was in your 20s because you would have known most of us. Most men, most boys, that age, 16, 15, 12, 13, 14, with a, with a blah, 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 you wouldn't have had no parts of a girl if she didn't initiate it. And your the, the girls are uh, talking. So, and it's not saying these little boys should be allowed to do, 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 do no, because there's very few uh, little boys in your class, in your little boys' class, that are pursuing predators like that. More than likely, first of all, because there's more girls than boys born. Period. Second of all, what they you do? Like I said, when black women was real, they would be the main ones telling their sons to watch out for these fast tail. That's what they. That was the phrase. Watch out for these pissy tail girls. But now you got all these gay folks, gay dudes like that, and this and that, trying to be fathers because they told them they could be fathers too. You know, all this PC shit. And it, it, it just this whole thing because what it is, they trying to turn the gay the dudes gay by by. Back when they a dude used to get dissed or rejected, his father or either his friends, you know, they might laugh, but yeah, his, when it's his friends, his peers, but they're going to tell him, just don't worry about it. There's somebody else. Just just don't stop. You know, you know, don't don't get down on yourself. You know, she's just one girl. She told you, no, it ain't down in the world. But now. They tell them to just stop messing with women, period. Why? You think it's a good idea because they don't say stop messing with women and, and turn gay. They just say focus on yourself. What it is, you know, it never bothered me. Like I said, it doesn't bother what I'm doing what I do. But what I'm saying is these young impressionable dudes. It's basically now they focusing on themselves, but they hang around nothing but dudes. 
And inevitably, you know, this motherfucker, basically, yeah, he's going to hit on him. He's, he's a predator. He's, he's still a predator. He's just, you know what I'm saying? And he, you got to, if you're a woman, you definitely should be listening to me, especially if you're a black single mom and you got little boys. You definitely need to be listening to what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck it. Don't worry about it. You need to just leave him alone. No, nigga. No. A lot of us, we, yeah, you always hang around your partners. That's that's all races of men, you know, the boys clubs, you know, this and that. But you still go, you know, when it's you get a girlfriend or one of your guys that you hang with, get a girl before you do. You don't, you know, unless you lame, oh, you always with, with that girl you just met. You know, nah, you ain't going to. You know, you rhythm a little bit. Shit, nigga, you ain't hanging out no more. You, you didn't put us all down, you know. But I'm telling you, this shit, these motherfuckers is, is treacherous, man. Nasty. Nasty. Yeah, I'm talking about mentally. Nasty. They, this shit, we got to watch out for these motherfuckers, man, of all race. All races. These motherfuckers is trying to take over, take your rights away. They try to, you know, because they cowards. And they, they want to get rid of anybody who would speak up. Anybody strong, any male. That for you females, don't get offended. Like, well, we're, we're, we're strong women. We can fight, too. And it, it, it ain't the time to be, <laughs> uh, trust me, if, if they get rid of all of us, y'all are definitely done. You really want to be at the mercy of some six-foot-two queen like this nigga, some big ass nigga who hates you because he wants to be you, literally. And I don't mean in your position. So you really want to be at the mercy of a bunch of six foot four gay dudes. So imagine your best friend who, you know, who's jealous because you could fit in that dress, but she's only five foot one. So imagine a dude who's six foot four who thinks just like her. But he's not five foot one and 110 pounds. He's six foot four and 210. <laughs> he thinks the same as that. So, yeah, you get rid of all us if you want to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I'm be in the world to hurt. For real, for real. Tell you, this big, effeminate ass, soft ass, big ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to protect y'all This is it And that's it But I, I, When I think of something else Or they keep on fucking with me I, uh, I, I think of something else to tell y'all But marinate on what I just uh, Hipped y'all to